Good morning, everybody. Welcome in to Craft Hour with Triple C, guys. Welcome in. Hit the thumbs up and share this stream out. I hope you're having a beautiful morning today. It is Thursday. This week seems like it's going a little fast. It's April the 11th, and uh, we are almost in the middle of the month so far. So with Craft Hour, I come in. I do a prayer. I'm Dana, aka Triple C, if I didn't introduce myself. And I come in with a prayer. I greet everyone, and then we get into a fun, amazing craft. Lately, we've been working on a poncho top or it's a top but it's a poncho style so that's what we've been working on lately and today we're going to continue with that and we're going to enjoy it i want to hear from you as well what you're working on if you have some future projects or ideas if you're a content creator and you are working on new videos or new content let me know what you're doing if you have some videos or anything that you would like us to view check out or if you have a channel and you just want us to subscribe let me know as well because i love to support so i just want to go ahead and start with this prayer i hope you're having a beautiful morning in my city right now it's a little a little gloomy a little rainy but it happens right you know every day can't be sunny so we just have to realize that and also make the best of how the day goes so i'm just going to go into the prayer then we're going to get into the greeting and the crafting Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come to you giving you glory, God. I come to you thanking you, and I come to you reverencing your holy name. God, I respect you, and I cherish you. God, I honor you, because you are the reason that we are here on this morning, and I don't take you for granted. So on this morning, God, I ask that you order our steps, and I ask that you begin to be with us wherever we are on today. Whatever mindsets that we are in, Father God, I help. I ask that you begin to help us stay focused on you and lean on you for all of our understanding and not on our own. God, on this morning, I ask that you begin to just heal us from anything that has us broken. I ask that you begin to deliver us from anything that has us bound. God, I ask that you begin to fix us, Father God, from anything that uh, is not like you, Father God. And I ask that you begin to put us on the right path, Father God, whatever it is, God. On today, I ask that you begin to remove any type of negativity. I ask that you begin to remove fear. I ask that you begin to remove doubt. God, on today, I ask that you begin to give us courage and wisdom and knowledge. Father God, and help us to utilize it in the way that you have called us to do so. On today, God, I ask that you begin to help us to walk in purpose, walk in victory, walk in triumph. Father God, on today, I thank you for every test, every trial. Father God, every tribulation. Father God, I thank you for everything that tried to break me, but God, I thank you for your word that says no weapon formed against us shall prosper. God, I thank you for putting strength inside of me, but not only in the inside of me, but in your children. Father God, your children, your word said that whatever we believe, God, if we believe, we shall receive whatever it is we ask for in prayer. So God, I thank you for your word in Matthew, God, and I thank you for the times I called your name, the times that I asked, Father God, that I was specific about what I needed. I was specific about what I wanted. Father God, I thank you for the specification, Father God, that you put on the inside of me. And when I asked, Father God, you gave. So God, on today, I thank you for the blind faith, Father God, I thank you for everything that you put on the inside of me and my family, my children, Father God, I thank you for what you put into my ones under listening under the, under the sound of my voice on today, Father God, I just ask that you begin to cover us right now, God, those working, those schooling, those fighting for our countries, those fighting for our communities, those who are dealing with grief and loss, those who are dealing with depression and anxiety, Father God, any type of mental illness on this morning, God, I ask that you begin to touch those who are journeying out into something new and who have a bit of fear on the inside of them, who feel discouraged, who feel like they can't make it on this morning, God, I ask that you begin to put some courage on the inside of them, put some power on the inside of them, put some strength on the inside of them, God, I ask that you begin to help them to Tap into your word that says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Father God, help us to understand what your word said is true. Father God, on today, I ask that you begin to touch those who are in the school buildings down on today, those who are driving on today and traveling. Father God, cover those who are homeless on this morning. Cover those who are orphans and don't have a family. Father God, cover those who don't know who you are, who aren't spiritually led, but desire to be spiritually led on this morning. Father God, I ask that you begin to Touch those who are in prisons and in jail cells, Father God, on this morning. Touch those who are in nursing homes, rehabilitation centers. God, on today, I just ask that you begin to touch those God, who are dealing with financial issues, those who are dealing with abuse. Father God, those who are dealing with any type of stress or strain, Father God, on today, God, I ask that you begin to help us to mount up with wings as eagles. And I ask that you begin to just push us, Father God, motivate us and keep us going, God. 
I love you, Lord, and I bless your name, God. Touch this chat, God, on today. I come against anything that is not like you. Every strategic attack of the enemy, Father God, I come against it, God. I come against any bit of separation and any bit of division. I come against the spirit of backbiting, Father God, on today. I just ask that you begin to lose peace and love and joy wherever we are, Father God, wherever atmosphere that we are walking in, Father God, I ask that you begin to just saturate it with your love before we even walk in, God. On today, God, I just ask that you begin to protect this chat. I come against trolling, spamming, cyberbullying, and any type of technical difficulties. It is in your son, Jesus' precious name. I pray this prayer. Amen. Amen. Good morning. How y'all doing? Hello, everybody. Welcome into Craft Hour with Triple C. I'm Dana, aka Triple C, as it says here, Dana. I'm learning, you know, the mirror work because I could also switch it, switch the way it goes, but I like it like this. Anyways, Dana, aka Triple C. <laughs> but good morning. We got Cindy Boucher in the building. Hello, how are you doing? Thank you all so much for being here, guys. Come on in. I enjoyed you all last night. We had a bit of some watch it Wednesday last night, and it was really fun. We were able to watch some videos. We were able to also share some of my happy meal. That I'm going to be doing some more, I would say more deeper videos about more specific or more and you know they're gonna be more actual videos where you're gonna see what's in i'm gonna dive into the items gonna share them and then give you a link i believe where you can purchase them so it's gonna be fun so yeah i got some stuff from timu last night and also i want to say thank you a big thank you to everybody who has been sending my daughter dinero as you know she is in college and she has been she's actually in she's actually um She's actually in Africa right now. So I'm so, so excited. The fact that she is in Africa and so many people have been blessing her. So it's just been a blessing. I'm going to go ahead and pull my crafting up overhead and we're going to get into it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do I know whoever won from the orange tree? What well, orange tree? Oh, whoever won from the yarn trees? Oh, yes. I already got with the winners from the yarn trees already. I just never made a video because I wasn't in a new place yet. And the And that's me. Pull up my yarn in my hand, and we're going to get into it. Where is it? No, that's not it. Where is my hookery? Sorry guys, I had to look inside my backpack to find my hook. I think I just drew everything in here yesterday. Before I went to work, I just threw everything down in my bag. So that was nice. So now I have to figure out where now I have to figure out where I put everything because I have no idea. Why did I just throw it down? I don't even know why I just threw it down in here. I was running late for work because I've been doing these double shifts. So I just threw it down in there. Mm -hmm. Why not stick inside the yarn? Mm -hmm. Oh, here it goes. All right, here we go, guys. Let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Okay, so let's get into what we're working on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check and see how many rows I have to do for this. I know it did say it gave me a nice amount, a number. But I don't know if I want to continue with that same exact number or not, or do I want to go do less? But I'll just keep going until we get a nice amount. I think I may need four of these total because this is my second cake. 
So, excuse me. I think I might need, I think I may need four capes total for this project. So let's see. And so far, because I have a nice amount left, I have about this much left and I'm still working on this panel. So I feel like four will be good. I mean, if it's not, even a, it might be not, it may not be a total of four, but it will be definitely, I'll need to use four. If I don't use a complete four, it'll be at least, you know, using four cakes of this mandala, which is for this mandala, I believe it's like 328 yards for this. So it's not like the larger mandala. So let me see. We're gonna go into craft hour, craft hour. Good morning, good morning. Kathleen is in a building, come on in a building. Thank you so much, how are you? Sending hugs and prayers to you and everyone. I am having a crochet session with my roommate, Trey. He's crocheting a corner to corner blanket for my 50. Oh my goodness, well, I hope y'all enjoy yourselves. Oh, I'm so happy that y'all are enjoying yourselves and having a crochet, crochet session. What do you, you guys got little nibbles with it? Or y'all got something to drink? Or you're watching a movie? Like this is amazing to have a crochet, crochet session. I think that is awesome. I've never had a crochet session like that. I've did some classes, yes, but I've never did where had a session. That sounds so fun. I could definitely do some sessions. One of these days I will. You know, it's like oh, there's different things going on. It just makes it hard for me to even put something like that together right now. But I will do something. I could definitely do something like that. I want to just read this thing that I had. I don't even know where it's at. It's a description of the coaching that I'll be doing. I wanted to read the description of it. I don't, I really don't honestly don't know what all I'll be doing. Besides yelling. <laughs> All right, let's see here. We're going to get into what y'all drinking, what your weather is looking like, and what you're working on. All right, those are your colors. All right, this one's almost in the boucher. It's in the boucher that said those are my colors. Now we're going to get into the muting. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. All right, so if you've been with me all this time, I thank you so much. I know there's been a lot going on and you have been so supportive of me and I appreciate that all of you. Um, so yes, also I want to say we have been working on this amazing poncho style top from Make and Do Crew and the author and designer's name is Jess, hey Jess. And so we've done so many rows of the body or the front panel. And now we're working on the sleeve portion and the side portion. And it's going to be really lovely we're just going to put these two together. As you can see, this is the body for uh, the body body part, and this is going to be separation for the sleeve part. So we're working on basically shells, and we're putting one shell in another shell, and that's basically what we're doing all the way down. And I want to get more of this done. I may try to get more done tonight at work, just because I really want to get this done. So I may do so tonight. I meant to do some last night, but we just, work was kind of slow. We just kind of chilled. And so we just relaxed a little bit. It was just like a little relaxed night at work. Talked to the kids there and it was pretty fun. I just really didn't crochet. And I think I might've forgotten that I even brought crochet work with me because I would have definitely crocheted. It would have been a perfect night to do so. But if tonight is the same way, I will do it. But a part of me feel like feels like it won't be, feel like it'll be a bit busy because upstairs in my gym and the gym in my at my work at my job, it's is going to be volleyball night. So if volleyball night, guys, there's no open gym. So no one can shoot around shooting hoops. No one can, you know, play in the gym except those of them, those who are playing volleyball. So all the kids will be downstairs, you know, like, oh, we don't have anything else to do. So they'll be down with us playing some video games or retro games, things of that sort. It's going to be fun. But just in case, I'll take my craft with me. Yesterday was fun. My first day doing my after school counseling. It was really nice. After school, that's basically called after school university. So you're kind of being like the camp counselor after school and it's really nice i met a lot of new kids 
So it was, that's what I liked about it. Always like meeting different kids. They were so friendly. So I guess I'm going to probably meet them, see them again today. And they talked me into a lot of stuff yesterday. <laughs> and they just thought, can we go outside? Can we go here? Can we go there? Can we go to the park? And I had no even I had no idea the parks they even had. I'm just gonna be honest. I they took me to a park I didn't know we had at my job. <laughs> I didn't know. Well, I guess we have two parks. One is more smaller, maybe for a toddler, and then we have one that's a little larger for you know a larger kids. And they're like, "Can we go over here? Can we go?" Over? I'm like, "Let's go. Let's just do it." We had not, we didn't have much time to do it, but we still went anyway, and they, and they enjoyed it. Then we went to art class. And I like the art class. I thought the art class was really nice. They had stations. So um, we, they have, at my job, they have different teachers who teach different things. So as a camp counselor or as a, you know, after school camp counselor, what you would do is you take them to these different classes. There's different times. So we may take them to a dance. Like today is dance class. Oh my goodness. I might get to take them to dance class today. I'm only doing a couple hours because I'm doing two different job so i don't get to see all the classes like i like i would if i was working a full shift but um yesterday we took them to i took them i was by myself it felt really nice so i was in the classroom they came in i fed them a nice after school snack got to know each and every one of them and introduce myself as well then we took i took them outside because i everybody had to use the bathroom so we did a bathroom trip water break then we went out to the park because I met the art teacher and she said they were a start about 3.30. So I didn't have a schedule or anything, guys. I just, I winged it, 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 it. Yeah, I winged it, it. And it was really nice because I went out and we went out to play. We came back in, went to the art teacher. She was really nice. So she was, she had set a different station set up. So one table was drawing, one table was painting, one table was Legos. She had a few different areas and she put so many kids per table. And I like that because that will help you not to have any arguments, fussing and fighting over this crayon or this paintbrush. It made it a lot easier. So she had, and she had like, I think she had drawing, painting, Legos and something else. I can't remember, but it was really nice how she had it set up. And they all enjoyed that. And then she wanted to go outside herself. So she said, well, we'll do half inside, half the class doing some station work. And then, excuse me, then we'll have out, like half of it outside with bubbles and chalk. So I thought that was nice. So we went outside, I did some chalk work. I didn't play with any bubbles, but I did draw on the ground with some chalk, it felt fun. And then we went back inside. And then after that, it was time for a writing class. I was like, oh, they got writing class too. Look at there. So the teacher's name is Miss Lori, and she actually had them doing some poetry. Y'all know I love me some poetry. So I asked her, could I have one of these poetry papers? And she's like, yeah, take one. You can have one. I'm like, thanks, Miss Lori. You know, tell me twice. So what I like about it is it's different types of poems. There's always different styles. Okay. And so I like the fact that the poem that they were working on today or yesterday. Well, it's a haiku poem. Love it. And it's an ancient form of poetry that comes from Japan. These three lined poems all deal with nature and feelings about the work, natural world. Each line of haiku is not a complete sentence, but is a simple phrase. Haiku poems must be written following a syllable pattern. The number of words is not as important as the number of beats per line. So the first line is gonna be five syllables. Line two is gonna be seven syllables. And line three is gonna be five syllables. So five, seven, five. Now, Hummingbird, these are some a couple different uh, haiku poems to give you an idea. Chirping in the trees. Is it five? Chirping in the trees, oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, it's like, <laughs> yeah, chirping in the trees in midair with beating wings. Tiny, precious bird. Okay, that's Hummingbird. That poem is called Hummingbird. I love it. Waves by Miss Larson. Miss Larson over here writing poetry. Write these poems, Miss Larson. Okay. Curling blue water, splashing at the sandy shore, beautiful ocean. Okay, love it. Also, this one is called Mountains, reaching to the sky, birds singing in the pine trees, 
home for animals. All right, so basically she is giving attributes or characteristics of mountains, I feel like. Um, so I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. So I wonder, does it only have to be three lines? Like a haiku, like there's only three lines of this? I'll have to dig more deeper, you know, because again, this could be maybe beginning poetry. I don't know. I just wonder, can you go longer than three lines? But again, if you only can do three lines, that's understandable. But I was just wondering, I like the fact that you have to, you have to do a syllabus. There's a syllabus outline or I mean syllabus, syllable. I like the fact that you have a, the syllables are structured per line. It kind of gives you this, it gives you a challenge with your writing and it also it also encourages you to step out of your comfort zone where usually you would be able to put so many words per line, you know, but no, with this, it's basically giving you, this is what you have to do. And also not these complete sentences with a lot of poetry. You could do a lot of complete sentences, maybe telling a story or, you know, you have so much room for words with this particular style. You don't have all that. So you have to really choose how you're going to write this is so basically you have to think a lot. And I love that. So yeah, I, I asked her, could I have one of those? And she was welcoming and said, sure. So yeah. Mm -mm -mm. And thank you for those of you who went to my short. I did post a bit of my intro for my book that I have been writing, like, I, that I wrote so many years ago, like maybe like a couple years ago. And I wanted to release it. At first I was like, mm, I kind of dragged my feet, feet so long that I was thinking that, what is the point of doing it anymore? I, I had that thought, but I was like, man, I wrote, I got wrote so many pages and typed and typed. And then I talked into the mic and then on top of me talking in the mic, my mic was not understanding me. That was the rough part. Like what? Cause I was, my fingertips were sore. Imagine you typing and typing and typing, your fingertips get sore. And then you, your fingertips get sore and then you start talking into the mic because you're tired of typing and then you are a fast talker and then you realize your mic is giving you all the wrong words. And so you have to take these days and days to go back and re remember what you were writing because the mic has put so many words that are very confusing onto the screen. And so now you have to like, what did I write? What was the thing? What was this? What was that? But going back to refresh and to reread and proofread all these words, it's like all this work I put in here, this baby's getting released. I don't care how relevant it is or how irrelevant it is, it's getting released because at the same time, I feel like it'll be a good book for someone to enjoy. So I definitely will be reading it. I mean, we'll definitely be getting it finished and released. Because I'm basically doing all these different things that I want to get done. So that's really where I'm at. I'm really at that place now where I just want to get a lot of stuff done. You know, because I'm getting older now. And I don't want to waste time. Because you never know. We never know when our last time is here. So while we're here, we got to get something done, right? But yeah, I think some people read it. Some people did not. But it was... Let me see if I can find it and then I'll read it. Here we go. I'll read it now. Did you ask for me to read this? No, you did not. <laughs> but guess what? I'm going to. All righty. So let's read as we craft. <laughs> oh my goodness. We got to do this. Okay, here we go. Chapter one, I can't be the star of every movie. I wonder if I should read like that or what? Because there, there may be an audible. I don't know who's going to read the audible. Who's going to actually have a voice? Would it be a man's voice? Would it be a woman's voice? High voice, low voice, cheerful voice, relaxing voice? I think you're supposed to read it as a relaxing voice, I think. All the audibles that I have, they're always like in these little sweet voices. I mean, calm voices. So I'm going to read my calm voice. Here we go. My first book was supposed to be easy, a short poetry book. Simple, right? I thought so. I was writing poetry every day and was very close to completing my collection of poems. 
Then early one morning, while powdering my nose and getting ready for my craft live stream, God gave it to me. The first word I heard him say was growth. I admit it. I, admit, I dismissed it. I thought maybe he meant someone else needed growth, not me, God. But then he was a lot louder with the second word, change. Sorry, guys. Let me get back into it. Okay, here we go. I heard him and jumped. I remember poking myself in my right eye because I was applying eyeliner at the time. I finished my makeup application and my live stream and days passed. I continue to pretend God's message wasn't for me. But God will get your attention in any way possible to have his way. He did. God started breaking me in every area. All the quick fixes I was used to running to no longer worked. All the doctoring up and rigging up wasn't going to make me wasn't going to make anything better. It was time for a makeup makeover. From the inside out, God was ready to clean and change my heart, but I had to repent, accept him, and welcome him in again. Honest living, this is the introduction now. I think that was like the preface, I think, because I was I was looking at all these different books trying to figure out like what kind of layout I want. Like, you know, I don't know how to make <laughs> I'm looking at all these books, like there's prefaces, there's introductions, there's this, you know. I wanted like a forward. I wanted to like ask someone to make me a forward, like write a forward for me. Like that's how hungry I was like, I want this to be like this. But I can always ask someone for my future books. But let's keep going. Introduction. Honest living happens when you get fed up. Well, that's when my life began. I feel you never live until you go through some challenges and discomfort and grow from it. It wasn't about me getting fed up with anyone else or their behaviors. It was about me getting fed up with myself. I was going through cycles. These cycles were the same things over and over again. I wondered how many merry-go-rounds I was willing to go on until I got dizzy enough to do something about it. One minute I was happy, the next I was falling apart. I was unraveling and I was unstable. I never would admit it, but it all, but trash all starts to stink no matter how deep you are burying it. I know what it's like to react first and think second. I have lost relationships due to this method of madness. I operated under the thought process, I'm always right. In this book, you'll get my tears, fears, and growth over the years. This book is a look in the mirror, the long look I was avoiding over so much time. I thought that only the others around me needed to be changed. I learned that for change and growth to occur, I must look at myself first. This book by no means is a punishment. These necessary steps are needed to go through to get to the next level. I know that my immaturity won't, lo won't allow me to succeed the way God has promised me. So this book is my mirror. I'm looking at everything I have tried to hide. I understand it won't be an overnight transformation, but I'm ready to make every change to become a better me. I wanna take you all with me. And I hope this book inspires you to do the same. Look at the things that you have been avoiding. When I started writing this book, Feeling undesirable made my mental state broken. I was confused and lost. God gave me words, testimonies, and an outline, but I had no direction. I was all over the place. I was faking it to make it. I was pushing people while I was falling apart. I was afraid to ask for help because I didn't want to acknowledge my struggles. I didn't like to highlight my faults, but one thing I learned that one thing I learned that is, one thing I learned is that exposure brings closure. But I was so hurt that I began writing this book as a punishment. This book started with much self-depreciation. I was putting myself down. The more I wrote, the more I blamed myself and disliked myself. I did this so much that my writing came to a halt. In this book, I wanted to bring encouragement and self-improvement but instead I was throwing out pain and anger towards myself. I know it wasn't God or me, so I stopped. I didn't type one more page and I knew no one else would. I know if I didn't enjoy reading my book, no one else would. 
So my first step was a detox. I had to detox. And even though I tried to avoid the process, it had to happen. This book needed to be written from a loving place and with a grateful heart, not pain and hurt, because injured people tend to spread that hurt to those around them. That is not my intention. This book will allow us to self-evaluate and promote change, growth, elevation, and elevation based on our self-evaluation results. This, the truth is, yes, we all have a closet containing baggage that despite how we close the door to it, it's still there. So this is the time to acknowledge it and do something about it. If you're reading this book, I'll give you the best advice I ever received from my oldest aunt. She gave it to a 14-year-old pregnant me and said, it's not the end of the world. I want you to know that it's not over. Tell yourself, I got this and God has me. You will find the words that took me from pitiful to powerful in this book. The terms that took me from gloomy to glowing. The words that took me from bound to free. It includes definitions, reflections, scriptures, and prayers. This book is a catalyst for change. And I encourage you to read this book with a friend and add more reflections, words, scriptures, and prayers that have helped you. I encourage you to read this when you're ready to clean your closet and heal and transform into it into change. If you are prepared, I have two more words for you. Come on. So that is the preface. That is the introduction. Mm -hmm. So that is what that is, guys. That is my preface, my introduction. I have more chapter. I was about to get into chapter one, but I was like, you know, <laughs> no, <laughs> you're going to wait for that, guys. You're going to wait till the swiping of the carding takes place. And y'all can get into the, 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 ju the juiciness. It was, it was about to get juicy, but I'm not going to get the, y'all can't get the juice. I love y'all with all my heart. I like all of this, but there's, there was about to be some real pure juiciness, like some real quality juice that was about to come after that. But I'm just going to wait. Okay. So I, I think I have to go through, because I was using Grammarly and Grammarly was really helping me to like have a nice flow. Like I put all my words there, but like, but some of the, like me reading, I see that they, I allowed them to change some, a couple of things that I didn't want to be changed. So now it's like, uh, I'm going to have to go back and put some stuff together and um, fix it. Cause some stuff I didn't like how they worded it. And it's like, round, round. but mainly I think I have like maybe a couple of chapters of just proofreading. So I just need to go do that. I probably, maybe I'll do that tonight at work because I'm probably, it's going to be busy. So I probably can go chat with some people, some play some games with some kids, come back, proofread, go back. Maybe I'll do that. So and go from there and then get this baby done. Let's just get this baby done. Thank you so much, Cindy Boucher. Yes. So yeah, it's gonna be good, guys. It's, it's definitely gonna be good. I'm not, and I'm not saying it both away. It's, it's gonna be good, but I just gotta get, I just gotta finish it. So I'm playing games. But yeah, it's, it's you're gonna. I think everybody's gonna like it. I just gotta go back and read the parts that. But again, it's gonna have like scriptures in there. It's gonna have, you know, different things. Like I, I, I like the format that I did. That's why I really wanted to release it because I guess a good. It, I did. I worked hard for this thing, you know. And I stayed up late nights on the porch in the house, like so much, so much time I put into this and I, I have to get it out. My whole goal is my life was to be an author an actress and an artist, actress and an author, all these different things. So I want to get, I do some authoring, you know, so that's what I want to do. So yeah, that is that, but it's going to be good guys. That make me want to read more, but I'm not doing it. You're not gonna catch me. You're not gonna twist my arm and have me read more. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. You guys want more? Oh my goodness, why y'all doing this to me? No, y'all trying to get all these little freebies. Then when I get the book out, you guys, guys aren't gonna buy it. You're like, oh no, I'm not buying it. I read it. I heard enough. Definitely not putting my money on that. Oh my goodness, guys, what are you gonna do to me? I know I got. I get want to give you more. You know this. You know my my I'm itching to read more. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Y'all are really having me do this right now. Okay. Mm 
No, I can't. I can't. It's too much juice. It's too much juice to start. With. How did I start off with so much juice like this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my God. It's too much juice. Oh, y'all ready for this? Are y'all ready for the juice? Should I do this? If y'all really want me to do this, I will read this, but I just need anybody to type juice. If y'all really want me to spill the juice, if there's juice that wants to be drank, you had to type juice in the chat if you want me to read anymore, or you just want to wait to pay for this, then you can. But yeah, it's it's really juicy, so I just might wait. <laughs> oh my God, because I haven't read this book. It's been a long time since I wrote this, guys. I wrote this book. I started writing this book like two years ago, and I pretty much was done at that time. And so, yeah, two years ago, I wrote this book, but I just had to get it out there. So many chapters, so many pages, but it's so good. It's just, you know, reflections and things. But also, it is it is also um, not like my autobiography, I will say. It's not my autobiography because I will have my autobiography out years, you know, some years later. And I want to do like the author from a child called It, where he did a few different autobiographies. He did them in stages. He did them as a child, as a teen, and as an adult. So that's what I want to do because I just want to be able to go in depth with every stage of my life. I don't want to just start off real deep and good. And then as I got into my teen years, I just kind of skimped over them. Then my adult years, I skimped over them. So no, I just want to be able to go into depth with everything. Hey, Mary, you better get in here. How you doing? Y'all better come on here. Good morning, family. Hope you're having a great day, y'all. It's gloomy here. Is it gloomy where y'all at? I better tell me something, something, something. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Oh man, this book is good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my god! Oh, I'm done. I'm not reading no more. <laughs> this book is about to be good. I need to hurry and get this out. Oh my goodness! But you know what? What is a, was just um, what makes me laugh is that um, where I have been. Oh, you've been riding your bike. That's what you were saying yesterday. You're like riding my back, and I'm like, what? Are, riding your back? What kind of stuff are y'all getting to over there? Hmm. I mean, it's Wednesday. Okay, hump day. I have no idea what's going on again. I don't know, Mary. Riding your bike. You better ride. Ride, Sally. Ride. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, definitely. I need to get a new bike because I don't have my bike here with me. And I also don't even know where I would put my bike at because, guys, I have so many stairs to walk up. Me carrying a bike up the stairs and then also down the stairs, it's, it's just not something that feels like it's going to happen for me. It just doesn't. So I don't even know. But I definitely want a new bike. Because I love riding bikes, y'all. So beautiful. And Cindy Boucher, she says, raining where she's at. It's raining where I'm at, too. And um, so I definitely want to get back out and ride bikes. That's just, it's on a special, on a, especially on a beautiful day. Like lately, since I haven't bought my new work walk shoes yet, walking would be, I mean, riding a bike would be so nice, guys. It really would be. Ain't nothing wrong in your lurk on. I hope you're enjoying your day. Riding, bike riding is exhilarating. Are you riding alone? Are you riding with your husband? Like that's just amazing. Getting out and riding bikes. Like your birthday, look, Mary had her birthday on the first of the month. She's like, man, I'm gonna ride out. That's what I'm talking. That's what I'm talking about, Mary. That's what I'm talking about. Like, I think Mary, how old did you turn? I don't want to say the number. I feel, I feel like I remember the number, but I just don't want to say it just in case I'm wrong. But if you can't type, don't type. Don't even get yourself in. But yeah, Mary turned at age at the beginning of this month, and she has taken her new year by storm. She is headed on the pavements, okay, and she is riding. I love that. I love that amazing time where you're able just to get some air, the wind blowing in your hair, and you're just riding and you're just enjoying. You know, I love that. I love riding bikes. That's something I definitely would do. I used to always ride bikes as a kid, so. 
That was always one of my favorite things to do. And now I like riding bikes long distance. So I also will walk long distance too, but riding is gonna be everything. So that's what I wanna do. Like once it starts really getting more settled into the weather, I'll probably do a couple, you know, 10 mile rides, 20 mile rides. Like if it's a 10 mile ride one way and then 10 mile back one way, that's 20, that's 20 miles. So that's what I wanna do. I wanna do a 20 mile bike ride. And then I was just wondering, like in my head, like, you know, I was trying to figure out like, is bikes, because you know, there was some people will say, you know, biking, you have to bike at a certain pace in order to be burning so many calories and things. But I still feel like, even with my experience of bike riding, I have still benefited from health and, you know, conditioning my body, losing weight and things of that sort and strengthening my, my muscles with bike riding, even at not the fastest of rates. I mean, I ride at a nice pace, but I don't, you know, I'm just saying like, I'm, it's not extremely fast or, you know, but I still want to enjoy the ride too. We, um, we have a lot of bike what is it called? A lot of bike lanes here. I still don't like to take them. I still like to be on the sidewalk if I can. I'm going to be really, really honest. I still want to be on the sidewalk because some people will, some people drive over the bike lanes, guys. I'm just saying. They will be right over those bike lanes. Just <laughs> and you don't even know what's going on. They're just driving, just driving down these bike lanes. And then next, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to ride on the sidewalk. Right on the sidewalk. That's what I'm doing. So, yeah. This is coming out really, really nice. So we are on a nice little shade of pink. And then we're going to head over. Like, soon it will be turning into this gray. It will turn into, like, a grayish pink. Like, the pink will be slightly there. It will kind of give it, like, a, a soft lilac. Then we're going to go into the gray, a lighter pink, and a lighter gray. So I like it. So it basically gives us, when we get into a deeper pink, we'll get into a deeper gray. Yeah, that's pretty good. Katrina's in a building. <laughs> Jesse's in the, what is going on? You're just coming through here like this? Okay, so we got the crappy gy gypsy at, hey, Jesse, hey, Jesse. We got Katrina in a building. She dropped a membership. What? Oh my, thank you, God. Thank you, Katrina. You better get in here. Thank you for saying I look amazing as always. Thank you. Love and hugs to you and the family as well. I appreciate you for joining my membership. I appreciate you for the love and the support. I hope you all are doing great. We're working on this poncho style top from Making Do Crew, panel one. And then we're going to go into panel two. We've done the body majority of that. Well, the whole part of the body. And now we're doing this part is going to be where the sleeves lay upon the shoulder and also where we're going to seam up that side where the waist and the hip line, not the hip line, I'll just say the waistline. We're going to go, we're going to seam this down uh, after we fold this in half. I'll give you a showing of the pattern. I just got done reading a little bit of my intro and preface. And yes, let me go and show you this really quickly, guys, of what we're doing, just in case you all want to see it. Poncho style, poncho style. I think it's going to come out really nicely. I'm not using the same yarn that this young lady used. Loving that yarn. I can't wait to see the top when it's going to look. I mean, thank you. I'm excited. I've never made a top like this before. So I just want to experiment, you know, something like experiment with some tops. I definitely love a nice top. Oh, no, trying... Why did you see me have things at limited time? You can get money off of a Galaxy watch. Look at them. I'm... No, no, no. No, no. I'm okay with the watching. Uh -uh, no, no. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So again, Jess over at Making Do Crew, she actually did one color. So I didn't really have one solid color. So I decided to, in the size three yarn, so I decided just to work with what I had and have some fun with it. It's springtime. I wanted to have this done around Mother's Day time, like some Mother's Day pics, you know, just something like that. I feel like this would be cute for Mother's Day, like a little Mother's Day love. So yeah, I think it's going to be nice. So right now we're working on this portion. We've done all that. Now we're working on this part here. So we're doing these parts for the sleeves. And then after that, uh, we're going to just assemble it by seaming up the side part. And also we're going to have two of these panels, which we're going to be seamed together down the center portion. And we can seam it to our liking. So you put it on and you would 
lay it upon your body and you would see how far you want your neckline, whether it's a shorter neckline, longer neckline, E, T, and C. All right, so yeah, we're back to the chat. And we're going to get back to it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, be nice for spring and summer. Yes, exactly. All right, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Cindy Boucher said, my daughter's college graduation is on Mother's Day. What? Oh, my. So are you going to cry, Cindy Boucher? All right, I'm just going to be really, really honest. I'm definitely going to be honest. Thank you so much, Katrina. Katrina says, family and I are doing great. Three more months, and the little one is going to be two years old. Man. Time goes by so fast. Two years old? She's already, she is fully on our food now, just getting on, just getting her off the bottle. Oh my. Oh my goodness. So sweet. Oh my goodness. And she's just, I mean, is, is she a talker? I mean, what does she, does she have any things that she likes? She has some of her favorites that she's like, oh, she has to have this. She has a favorite cheer, favorite blankie, favorite, you know, snack or favorite TV show. Does she have some of those favorites? Like you just got to, Whatever she wants here, she just has it. No, put her TV on. She has that. Like, <laughs> does she have those type of things? They're like, yes, she's having that. Yes. Don't eat her cookies. No, those are. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Boucher, that's amazing. My oldest is going to university for becoming a nurse now. She is a PSW right now, but she is going through a nurse. Man, that's amazing. Yes. I, I love it. I, everybody's graduating, doing great things. It's a beautiful thing. Like our kids are making us proud. I love that. You know, there's so many great opportunities out here now. And so for our kids to be taking them, it's just beautiful. I love it. You know, like, and they have these ambitions. Isn't that amazing? Katrina says she loves to dance, read. And when I ask her to clean up, she does She does it. No pun intended. What? She's a very good, she's such a good girl, very smart. Oh, my God. That's amazing to hear. I love that. Oh, oh my goodness. That is just amazing. That's beautiful. You need to spoil her and love on her. Just have that good quality time with her. That's beautiful. She doesn't like watching TV unless it has to do with music or learning something. She loves Boogie Up. That's how my daughter was. I mean, she still loves. She lo Not my daughter now is just getting into TV now, but it was just books, 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 books. That's all she ever really cared about was books. Now she'll watch a little TV, but she still loves her books too, and she loves her music. So, But that's amazing. I love that, y'all. That's amazing. I guess I'm going to have to go. I'm going to go probably put some food together for lunch or for dinner at work tonight and get ready for work, guys. These double shifts, they're not going to work themselves. Sometimes I just want to chill, but <laughs> it's okay. It's just a couple extra days a week, so I don't have to do this every day, but I'm going to go and have some fun, get to work, go get ready, and then we'll be back tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, so uh, I appreciate y'all for coming in and spending some time. Thank you, Griffin family. Thank y'all so much for being a building. Thank y'all. Y'all have a beautiful day, y'all and the family. Everybody that's watching, I appreciate you all. And I thank you so much. Also, if you want to go back and rewind, go back and you can hear my preface and my introduction for my novel that I'm writing, <laughs> my memoir. <laughs> if you want to read, if you want to listen to my memoir or the beginning introductions, I read them to complete. I read them completely. You guys can read that and you can listen to that if you want. Also, if you want to donate $2 to my daughter or more, this will cover a meal. She is in Africa. Africa money is more, our money is more stronger than theirs. So I just would like, if you want to send her a cash app, she is in Africa studying abroad for psychology her junior year. I'm asking if you would like to donate any types of dinero, $2 will cover a meal for her. And that will be a blessing. This is her cash app. This is her PayPal. If you would like to send her a blessing, I want to say thank you so much for those of you who can. Also, those of you who are sending prayers as well, because she is in a whole nother continent. Okay. Also, for those of you who cannot donate today, if you can donate another day, I would appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay. And also, y'all have a beautiful, blessed day. And I will see you in the morning. All right. So I love you all. And thank you for giving me your time today. And you guys have a beautiful, sweet day. Take care, guys.